I guess. Um, I know a few days ago I put up a video and it was a really harsh video, at least for me. And I am doing a little better. I have been trying to get my bookmark shop up and running, but unfortunately, I don't know what else to do. Um, I have, you know, I'm trying to sell simple handmade bookmarks that are, and they're thick too, so they don't bend to, <clears throat> and I would love to do more designs, but until I, um, and <clears throat> until I am able to sell more, I'm not going to put any more designs up. Um, for the moment, I actually have the Outlander one, the dark shade of magic one I just showed, sh ones I just showed you. Uh, I have the Harry Potter houses, and I actually have a special one uh, that is going to be different for each, uh, for each individual bookmark. I am not saying what it is because you have to go look it up on the website, and I will link up my shop down below. Uh, <clears throat> so, I guess for this book haul, um, I don't really buy very, I didn't really buy anything. I did buy one book. Um, that was towards the beginning of, before everything horrible happened to me. But, uh, first is my aunt sent me this little, uh, sent me little goodies from this convention that she volunteered at, and I was so excited excited to get some stuff. I thought there would be more stuff in it, to be honest. But I got this little signed card of a book coming out called Lost Girl. Uh, let me read the back for you. Wendy does not remember anything about Neverland or the experience done to her there as a child. Seven years later, all she wants is a normal life, but shape-shifting shadows plague her dreams and turn her life into a waking nightmare. When the shadows attack at a football game, and a boy disappears right in front of her. She realizes these wraith like shadows are real. They're just not haunting, they're hunting. A mysterious boy named Peter, his foul mouthed psychic, and abandoned misfit boys intervene before Wendy faces a similar fate. But can they trust Wendy enough to take her to Neverwood Academy and reveal all the, their hidden secrets? When she's hiding a secret of her own, or will the dreaded red skulls find her and her and her and drag her back to Neverland? So I guess this is like a modern take of the Peter Pan story. <laughs> That's what it seems like it, anyways. But it's signed by the author. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I kind of wish I had a copy of it so I can read it, cause it sounds interesting. <laughs> But, uh, a couple things, though. There have been a few of, uh, those free li library book things, which is a great advantage to take, to take, uh, books from. Uh, I found this, the strange, the strange and beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender. I've, now, I've heard several things about this, and, um, it sounds like, <laughs> really interesting, sorry. <coughs> I've been sick for a bit, so I still have a cough, which doesn't help me. And I really like the cover of this, even though it's like a paperback. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next is Circling the Sun. I thought that this was interesting because it, it's a bit of a love story. I'm not very fond of love stories, but it seems like a different twist to it. Uh, this powerful novel transports readers to the 
breathtaking world of out of Africa, 19th, 20th Kenya, and reveals the extraordinary inventions of Beryl Markham, a woman before her time, brought to Kenya from England by pioneering parents dreaming of a new life in Africa on an African farm. Beryl is raised unconventionally, developing a fierce will and a love of all things wild, but after everything she knows and trusts dissolves headstrong young Beryl and is flung into a string of disastrous relationships and then comes caught up in a passionate love triangle with irresistible surviving hunter Dennis Finch Hatton. Uh, and the writer Baroness Karen Blixen. <laughs> Brave and audacious and contradictory, Beryl will risk everything to save Dennis's love and it's ultimately her own heart she must conquer to embrace the true calling to her destiny to fly. Uh, yeah, that seems very interesting. Um, and so for the last one, I, for everything started going hell for me, I got this book because I really wanted to read this book because I'm actually a relative or a descendant of the person that it's based off of. Um, yes, I am a descendant, and I'm very proud of it because I have done a lot of research about the man, and it's just, it, and honestly, it's exciting to actually have it, but, uh, yeah, I have a copy of N.I. Dark, and I really wanted to get this, and so I really... I kind of like this cover, but I kind of like the other cover, which is shows a the actual female version of what uh, Vlad actually looks like, and so and it says is a signed copy. Yeah, yeah, right. Stop it. Signed copy. So yeah. Um. So yeah, this is the one book I bought before. Some stuff got into my way, um, and so that is pretty much my book haul. Uh, if you, if you are willing to look for books and willing to like get rid of some, look for those free public libraries that <coughs> are free public book exchange where you take a book in and take a book out. Most of the time I take them out because I don't know what books to put in just yet because I either haven't read them for class or have read them <laughs> at all. Um, so I'd say you take advantage of that and check out my bookmark shop. I really want to do some holiday orders, but the orders won't even get until after Christmas because I am figuring some stuff out right now and. I would really, really love to sell some some bookmarks, guys. I and I would I want to send a gift. And if you um, if you order in the holiday orders, um, and so that is it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.